Hello, I'm Ren, and uh, today we're going to be going over how to set up a project for Android Touch, how to export for Android, and then export for PC. So we're just going to look over a couple of those things and just get people sort of started on that. So I've uh, actually got Unreal Engine open here, so I've started a new project. I've just launched 4.13, and uh, straight away at the bottom you can see this uh, this box I'm hovering over and basically you choose the overall class of hardware to target so desktop or PC uh, mobile or tablet so for now we'll go with mobile and I'll show you a couple of things that uh, you want scalable 3d or 2d probably um, you don't want maximum quality because you're on a mobile although some mobiles can handle it but uh, for now we'll go scalable 3d 2d and then um, I always start with no static content so the size is a little bit smaller and I'll just call this uh, mobile export project so I'll create that and uh, that's opened the project and in settings I'm just going to check a few things so if you go to project settings and then go right to the bottom you've got these platforms and if I click on Android uh, Straight away you'll notice uh, project is not configured, so you just hit configure. There's a couple of things I always do in here. Package all the game data inside an APK, and an APK is basically what you put onto your Android. And as it gets uh, downloaded, once it's finished, it asks if you want to install it. So I always put mine on Google Drive and then go to my Google Drive on my phone uh, or my tablet and actually install it from there. Um, disable verify OBB. This sometimes gives an error, so I click that to disable that. Um, and that's pretty much it. I mean, you can go down, you can configure uh, Google services, but you might not be using them. Uh, you can set your splash images here as well uh, in launch images, again, in Android platforms. So you can do that there. And uh, there's a couple of other options that you can sort of look at. So one of the things you might want to do is just type in Unreal Engine for Android, and it will take you to this page from Google. And uh, you can see here code works for Android uh, 1R4 and then inside that you'll be able to actually install all the different um, SDKs so you'll have different versions basically for the different types of Android that you can build to and uh, if you download all of those and some of the tools if I click here to start it will kind of show you some of the process so it says here which ones you kind of need to to get uh, when you do this you have to accept a bunch of stuff and, uh, and just install those so you've got here he's got the SDK base platform tools build tools and uh, and you'll have different kinds of uh, Android platforms for all the different devices so you want to download those and get those on your system and part of that is Java as well and um, and you'll need all those sorts of things to get going uh, with this I've actually started uh, building a project um, just to double check that all of my installation files are there for those um, essentially those sort of like plugins and, and APIs and stuff to build to the Android so I'm just checking that out and uh, the way you do that whilst that's building is you just uh, you've got your game here and you just uh, click on file you go down to package and in package you can build to Windows here you can build to Android you can build to other devices as well depending on how you set up your inputs and your project settings and stuff so uh, in Android I just clicked all and that starts off this uh, this output log which is going to tell you any errors like you're missing this or this material is not set up for Android and things like that so then you can go back into your content browser or into your game and start setting some stuff up so one of the other things that I didn't actually do in this because I'm just testing it was in maps and modes you're gonna have to set you know the editor start up map it well that's not important but that's for the editor but the game default map you will need to set up to a specific map otherwise it will just enter on a default one so that's just straight away uh, project settings maps and modes so I'll do that again settings prod no, that's plugins so settings uh, project settings maps and modes so you will need to change that there uh, you might even want to change the default game mode and we haven't really looked at game modes before because we've been doing it sort of like a by hand if you like when we create our uh, characters but what a game mode does is it controls uh, what spawns and things like that so if I create a game mode and just call it new GM open that up 
it's just got a couple of options on the right hand side like the default pawn class so this might be a new character that you've made a HUD class if you've created a custom all classes blueprint of a HUD which draws all of your uh, UMG widget elements onto the screen you might want to use it there as well uh, and basically this is just how um, the game mode can get set up and then inside your level like this level here you could either go to world settings and if that doesn't exist you can go to window and then open the uh, world settings tab but in world settings you've got a game mode override here so I could select new GM now and uh, then I could actually override certain things if I really wanted to or you could uh, again go to settings project settings and check out that uh, maps and modes default game mode new GM done so I could also change settings here as well so if it's not overridden inside here it will be overridden somewhere else so it'll be overridden in the project settings so that's pretty much that oh my god hurry up yeah so this might take a while um, depends on your system apparently come on old boy you can do it there we go look at that whoa see bit of motivation went super fast then if only it could go faster wonder if it's slow because I didn't do all of the things I should have done like setting up the map and setting up the mode and it's like kinda of getting confused well there's just tons of stuff though it's like cooking mobile HUD buttons and all this other stuff so you might want to look at if, if you're experiencing like a large uh, file size you could essentially open Google Unreal Engine 4 um, oh okay and as you do that apparently it will uh, finish building so it's preparing to make the APK there you can see that just uh, just there oh it's gone now but uh, yeah it's nearly finished so um, Unreal Engine for mobile build size reducing APK size yeah so I know this exists and um, and so yeah you can go into here and you can do this and some of your textures are going to want to be uh, processed in a certain way you've got all these options here for different ways of packaging um, your project there's a bunch of plugins that you can turn off as well to make that smaller again and then there's these things called pack lists which I remember as well and they're basically just inside them is uh, different um, registers basically of what not to cook so there'll be certain things that will be in the engine that you won't need or want so uh, yeah check that out it's the uh, reducing APK size uh, package so that will help as well so I'll jump back to Unreal now uh, to check this we've got some warnings happening which are probably just op yeah obsolete stuff so um, they're just options so while that's building I'll, um, I'll quickly go over a few other things so in settings again in the project settings in inputs usually here under action mappings and axis mappings in uh, recent videos we've been using uh, you know mouse left mouse button so let's just have a quick look at how you could do touch so um, we'll just call this player tap for example and we'll just do this as touch one and uh, and that's pretty much it so uh, you've also got a drop down here for touch so you've got all the different touches you could check if touch one two and three are being pressed at the same time and uh, then check their actual axis that noise was actually uh, my package finishing so let's go and have a quick look at that let's just quickly check out that package uh, we've got export tests droid android right and then you've got this APK here so mobile export project um, there are places inside those android project settings where you can change that but that, essentially that's what you put onto your device and then you run that and it will run this level here uh, I won't be able to record that so you'll see at the bottom here it tells you how long uh, it took and sort of like where it's saved to and all this sort of stuff and I'll just close that for now and we'll quickly check those um, those settings that I mentioned so if I make a player controller and just open that up bring it over here go to the event graph and start putting some events in for those touch events so I've got finger one and then you've got an axis value so that's essentially whether it's being used uh, or not used uh, what we could do is um, get input touch state from finger one we could check all these and we could check their locations on the X and Y and we, we could reference the last frame to find out whether we're moving left or right um, we could probably get the player controller 
um, just type in touch and it will give us all the different things that we can do with touch so yeah again get the input touch state get um, you'll want to actually set uh, enable touch events and enable touch over events and things like this so that you can actually interact with things by touching them we've covered that in a previous video but you will probably want to do that so that's just set touch events so you could do that there um, I actually also think that uh, in the project settings under um, probably an input actually use mouse for touch yeah so um, this use mouse for touch here basically also means that in this axis mapping you you can use um, mouse X and mouse Y as finger X and finger Y essentially uh, just for the first touch though so there'll always be one touch that begins so you'll be able to use that and that's quite useful um, so yeah you could do that you could have mouse X and then uh, it's using the mouse for touch so when this um, gets called it's basically going to consider it as the first touch and then you could use that in here so um, but there's a couple of things you can do there basically um, for creating touch controls so again yeah we could do touch um, could do that it asks you whether it's just been pressed released or moved uh, and you can check the location every time it moves you could maybe um, promote this to a variable of last location um, and you do that at the end and as it moves you could branch um, and basically ask if uh, if we break this vector for the current touch and then split the vector of the last touch and check if the X is more than uh, the last X you could do a bunch of stuff at the end of here and then right at the end you could save um, the last touch again so the next time this runs it checks it after it's been set so originally this is actually going to be nothing so um, you might get weird events happen off that so you'd have to control that but basically yeah that's something that you could do and uh, and check the acceleration of the touch so we'll just type touch again and see what else we can do with this so uh, is touch event um, <clears throat> So if I get touch one, you got press released key, so you might be able to break that and have a look. No. Um, anyway, so you got the finger index as well, and you could switch off of that, uh, and it will give you the uh, ten touches that Unreal is able to compute. So you can do that as well, and there's just a bunch of different stuff that you can do with touches. And we've looked at how to um, how to export this to Android now. Uh, and one of the things that you might want to check as well is in Android SDK you've got these um, sort of like pointers to things so if it isn't working straight away just check those check anything you can find on uh, Google as well that will help you out and then um, again in file project Windows I'll just export to 64 uh, save this map and check where I want to save it so export tests PC uh, and then just hit OK and again you get show output log you can just click that and uh, and just watch that build so we'll do that quickly all right so uh, that's succeeded that's built now so what I could do is I could go back to um, my export tests go to PC you'll have this Windows no editor stuff so I'll just actually quickly show a few things to do with that um, inside project settings again you'll have um, a couple of options you've got description here so you can put your company name um, your home page and things like that but mainly what we want to do is set description set the project name so this is just called UE4 game at the moment and um, and as you go through all of these so packaging it's gonna ask you sort of where to package and all this sort of stuff you've got um, supported platforms uh, target hardware uh, yeah so if you're actually working a different project you could change this here uh, so say you're working on desktop console you could change to mobile tablet and scalable 3D and it should just uh, update everything for you and um, we're just looking now for Windows uh, down inside uh, platforms and you've got a couple of options here as well based on your splash images and things like that so similar to the Android builds you've at the bottom somewhere you've got your uh, splashes and icons as well uh, but you just really just want to check um, what your project is called so there's a location here for what your project is called at the end there okay so we've had a look through a couple of those things let's quickly just uh, double click this mobile export project so um, 
essentially this is now just going to open um, that application and it's not going to be very exciting because it's just a default game at the moment so I'll save all of this, uh, close some of these down and uh, any seconds now it's actually here so you'll see it's loaded uh, without a uh, level so what I need to do is file, save, save this level as level go to settings, project settings, maps and modes, pick level as the entry level then go back to file package windows 64 and uh, that should actually now run with something to actually see so we'll check that out quickly okay so that's built, that's the sound of completion so let's jump back to windows no editor, mobile export project, so that's just based off the name of the project that I actually made you can see it on the top right there, mobile export project um, obviously I've changed it now for PC but um, we'll see that shortly so here it is I'm uh, I'm in that little test level doing uh, the things that um, I'd coded for that so in your own game obviously this will this will be whatever you've actually coded and made but that's uh, that's exporting in a nutshell so thanks very much guys go and uh, get your games ready package them up share the link I don't know put them in the comments and all that jazz so yeah, cool. Good luck with that and uh, see you next time. Bye.